Good morning. It is the second Sunday of Epiphany and the readings are John 2, 1-11 and Isaiah 62, 1-5. The story of the wedding at Cana is one that has been portrayed in several paintings. It is a lovely story of how Jesus came to the rescue of a wedding couple whose reputation was about to be damaged forever for the lack of wine at their wedding. This, the first of his signs, says John, revealed his glory and his disciples believed in him. As a human race, we are capable of many things. We explore the universe sending people into space and call them astronauts. We are involved in science because we have this built-in feeling that there has to be something more to life than this. We are also called to be creative, to engage with the elements of the world with the Creator and try to take some of our responsibility for improvement where things have gone wrong and are not the way they should be. And when the wine runs out and there's only water at a wedding, we need help. So what is this story about? When God created the universe, the world and everything in it, he had a plan. And because human beings had their own ideas about this and didn't always fall in with God's plan, it didn't turn out so well. So he had to help us find our way back to him again, and that's why Jesus came and worked for our salvation. That's it in a nutshell. But of course the point is that we need to delve deeply into the essence of God's story and make use of his invitation to us to make it our own. We need to look at the stories of the Bible and learn to make the connections that are certainly there. This story, Jesus changing water into wine, is one such st story, but its primary function is that of revelation, of telling us more about Jesus himself than we know so far. If we take the Bible and look at the different parts, we find a pattern roughly like this. The Old Testament telling us what was going on with humanity on earth and the problems people were getting themselves into, and promising that a saviour would come to sort things out. Then the Gospels, first telling us about the arrival of the saviour, and then revealing his identity and purpose more and more, each miracle and every parable proclaiming him as the Messiah, the Son of God. Then following on from salvation history, proclaiming Jesus again in the letters, and finally giving us a glimpse of the future in the last book, Revelation. Revelation is the word that screams from every page. On every page, God is at work. He works to make things new. He changes the ordinary into the extraordinary. He lifts the mundane and simple and clothes it with heaven. He even brings the dead back to life. Revelation of who God is in what he does. I am reminded of David Bowie, who some time before he died was exploring spirituality. But the interesting thing is, is the way his last music speaks about his approaching death. You may remember how he took the image of Lazarus and did a reflection on that story that we know so well and applied it to himself. Lazarus, of course, the one who was raised from the dead by Jesus. Another sign of Jesus' identity. David had said that he was trying to make spiritual connections to what he was doing. In this, he was a man just like us, with his worries and his searching for the truth. And that's what artists do. They portray their own searching in life. Even if their journey is not ours, it is a journey nevertheless. The story of the wedding at Cana is one of revelation, but also of transformation. It says that with faith, things don't have to be the same. They can change from bad to good with Jesus. 
when he is in the situation, things change. That's what Jesus is about. He changes water into wine, the mundane and ordinary into the special and festive. In other words, Jesus is what makes the difference in and to any situation. So the word for today is, invite him. The collect for this season. Almighty God, in Christ you make all things new. Transform the poverty of our nature by the riches of your grace. And in the renewal of our lives, make known your heavenly glory. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. <laughs>